So hello fellow YouTubers, Thermionic Warrior here. So, in my previous video, I sort of didn't do a very good job of explaining what I was doing. I'm going to try and do better this one. And I'm just assembling the, the main components. And this is the, this starting with the clutch mechanism and the tone arm mechanism. So, to get down to business here, this is for a... Uh, Seaberg SE100 jukebox the mechanism. It's called a Selectomatic mechanism. I guess because it does everything automatically. It has, runs off one motor, which is quite amazing. And start this this guy here. It's tricky to get in, but this is all assembled here. So to get this in, you can just try your best there, Kyle. Oh yeah, my cameraman Kyle here is helping since I can't really do both hold the camera and install parts at the same time. So, now. Oh, it's so close. <laughs> Doing it first try. If you get the right angle, you can pretty much wedge it in. But you'll have to fiddle with this a little bit in there just to, to actually get it to slide in the way you want. It may come down to that I have to edit this, which is a fear of mine because then that requires me downloading a program. But so, what am I doing wrong this time? What do you think, Kyle? There we go. It's in. Ah, there we go. So many little rollers that that line up with the the camshaft here. If they don't line up, then it won't fit in place. And. Fully mount it, turn it on its side here. You'll have three different screws that hold this in place. Just set them in. There's one. You need a socket driver that fits that. I'm greasy on my hands already. Even though this whole mechanism has been fully cleaned, I soaked it in a crazy solution. I spent many months cleaning the parts, you know, usually doing a couple hours a week because that's all I could do because otherwise my hands would be black from all the grease that was in this. Oh yeah, and if you want to see how bad it was, the original mechanism is over here. Down in here is the one of the worst areas. You can see it looks all caked with grease. And not really grease anymore, it's more like cement. Basically it becomes contact cement. And that's the why you have to take apart the mechanism because that gets into the bearings and dries out and then everything sort of seizes up slowly. And the machine slowly dies. So next, I'm gonna try and do this as well. What's our time at there, Kyle? How much time we got? Ah, three minutes. That's not three minutes in. So this is a clutch mechanism. To mount this, there's a little bar here, lever, which controls the, 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 the actual clutch piece. Can't remember the term for that, which is bad. But all it does is shifts between the scan mode, play mode, and record pickup and drop mode. So in this position, it's in the pickup and drop mode. And as you can see, it turns. You can turn the gear up at the top, and it will turn the whole thing. It'll turn the worm gear, but not the the uh, the gear that moves the actual mechanism. And then in play mode, it just turns. I can hold the worm gear, and it'll turn on its own. And then when it goes into scan mode, drops down, fall the way, and then it's moving the little ah, sprocket wheel. That's what that's what it's called. Okay, so this is trickier because you actually have to. Here, I'll turn this on the side again. See if I get an angle. That's why I have a lamp here. This is tricky because you have to get this in just the right angle that it will latch onto that little bit of a. Yeah. Easier said than done, like everything. Right, Kyle? Mm-hmm. <laughs> there, that's it. Then, be a little washer. 
drop that on there. You have a lock washer. Come on, you. My hands are so sweaty and greasy now. My hands don't like when they get grease on them. They get kind of clammy as a result. You gotta kind of pop it on. Let's see if I can hear it. Yep, click. Got it. Now this drops in like that. Then you have this spring here which allows the to lift the clutch clutch piece and this hooks on a little part down inside here comes up hooks onto the part up here and that's in place then all you do next is bolt this thing in Ah, six minutes isn't so bad. A lot better than the first take, right? <laughs> Jeez. I'm actually getting it together properly, too. Unlike on the first take. Um. I did neglect to address. Like, well, I'm going to get to that in a moment here. I don't know how much time is left. Also, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and... If you have any questions, just leave a comment. I'm sure I'm bound to miss tons of different of stuff on this. But in the next video, I'm going to get to calibration because you will need to calibrate it. And I will actually need to take the clutch back out because I have a washer and this worm gear that I need to add in so it doesn't move up and down, which can cause major wear and tear on the, the, the clutch piece. Um, other than that, so, seven, three minutes, there you go. Ah, yeah, cool. I hate that the camera does that. Okay, so this is all together. You got your tone arm in place. I'm going to get into detail on how this works. Normally, there is a solenoid here, which pushes this lever up here. Now, it's in the pick up and drop it, drop down mode. And when it's scanning, there is a timing contact, which tells it, when and where to pick up the record and then the, the Tormat unit tells it at which spot to stop to pick up the record. So if I can get this to turn right, I turn it this way so I can see a bit of lever action. If this time if the time runs out then I'll just call it a day and do this in the next video. So getting this started Turning it the right way is. Oh, yeah. It doesn't want to turn the right way. I probably done something wrong. Because in the process of um, moving the camshaft, there's so many rollers, and this thing here will lift up to a lot of tension in there. So. You can see a bit of movement here. Not enough movement, though. See, this is why I have to calibrate it so that this lifts the clutch more than what it's lifting it currently. So, if I can get it to turn counterclockwise, then that get me to go where I need it to, but I don't think I can in this video. I'll have to do that in the next video and explain the actual, how the thing cycles. But make it basic, you got this, this piece here will lift the record, Pick it up and drop it back in. This is a safety plunger, which will prevent it from picking up the record. If this, if there's an issue with the calibration of the mechanism, it just won't pick it up. And, and as you can see, this won't move until this piece here is actually lifted up high enough to let it move. It also keeps the record from falling out. Anyways, guys, I'll get back to this later on. Hope this was useful in some way. 